Okay, finish that off. And now we have italic text. And let's change this over to Arial. So let's make the whole body fun family and Arial. Save that. Refresh. And our font family is now Arial. Let me just check to make sure the computer style is Arial. Yep. Okay. So now that's finished. We want to uh, add this background to our um, search. So let's just find that out. 4C, 4C, 4C. Okay. Background. And add that color in. Refresh. And now it's a little darker color. So now that's finished. And now I think we're ready to center everything in the middle of this banner. So to do that we need to add um, display table to our header. Display table. And to our header inner display table cell. Close that off. And vertical align. Middle. So save that. Refresh. And now it's vertically aligned in the middle. So I gotta see why it's uh, doing this with the thousand px. So I guess it's not liking table cell. Okay. So let's just add another div to this, which will be called header guts. Div class equals header guts. Okay. Now we need to indent everything. Slash do. Save that. And we add that in here. Header guts. Okay. And we should just move this stuff over here to the header guts. Save that. Nope. So let's just switch that around. Try it out. And now it's not centering. Alright, so now we need to add the margin zero auto to this. So it actually centers in this. There we go. Now it's centered. And let's just add a bit of padding to this. So it's the same. So let's just figure this out. And control shift C, control shift C to figure that out. So with the searching, so let's just add padding of 14 to the sides of the search. Okay, so search, padding, and zero. So it's top and bottom is zero and 14 px for the sides. And save that. Refresh, and now it's more in the middle. Okay. So now that we have the banner done, let's start working on the nav bar. The nav bar will. Uh, oh, I forgot. I gotta turn this back on the PSD. So the head. Okay, there we go. So now the header is looking exactly like how we have it here. Okay, so the nav bar. We'll start out by adding a div underneath the whole header. So div class equals nav bar save that and bring this nav bar over to our CSS go down a little bit nav bar okay so let's look at this we, it stretches across the whole thing so with 100% and close it up going to nav control A control C find out the height of it height is 50 alright so width 100% height 50 px and we want the background to be 82 okay background like that and we add a border of 1 px solid black 0 0 0 0 0 0 save that alright so now that that's done we make our same uh, inner 
to make it centered div class equals nav underscore bar underscore inner close that off bring that over here and we need to add a width of a thousand pixels the same as our header and height of 50 save that save that and now we have that in there so let's add each of our individual um, nav items into the thing alright so div class equals nav item close that off and let's add a or href equals just I'm gonna, I don't have links for these so just do that slash a home and just write them normally you don't have to capitalize them or anything then we do the next one let's actually add a class to uh... and oh, we don't have to so that's fine okay home tutorials let's just copy that and next one will be contact okay So now that we have that done, save that. Oh, let's just make this good. Contact. Save that. Refresh. Now as you see, it's on the very right side. It should be in the middle. So I think I need to add a margin zero auto. So it centers it in our 1000 pixel border. So now it's in the container. Alright, so now that that's done, we need to float each of these individual items left. So let's get the nav item class and style it. Let me move this up so you guys can see it better. Dot nav item. Alright, so float left like that. And once that's done, we'll each float left like that. We also want to add um, a line height to our nav bar inner so that it centers vertically. Line height. And we want that the same as our height of our actual thing. So height 50 and line height 50. Save that and now it's centered. Now it's time to style the links of our actual thing. So our links are normally. Okay, so this is what I'm trying to do here is the home is active tab and we're on home right now. So let's add a class of active nav item space active. So to add more than one class to your divs or whatever, you just put a space and whatever you want. So let's add a class of active right there. And now over to the links. Normally when you style, you would just add color to whatever you want it right there. But since these are linked, they won't get links, they won't get styled. So first let's do the normal nav items and then we'll work on active after we do that. So nav item, and do I have that as? All right, let's change this to an underscore nav underscore item. All right, so now let's change nav underscore item. All right, nav underscore item a link, comma nav underscore item a active. But I forgot the dot, comma, nav, item, a, visit it. And those are the three um, CSS selectors for that. So we add a color, colon. Alright, so now that's done. We also need to add the hover, so nav, item, copy that. So it's going to be the same thing, then instead of link, hover. And I'm not sure what the hover should be. DA to, um, let's see, okay, white. No, oh, whatever, that'd be good. F. So, color. Whoop, color. And save that. We also don't want an underline underneath our thing, so text decoration, none. That'll just get rid of this underline right here, so it's refresh. And now that's all done. So, hover turns white 
and now let's work on our active. So we want all of this, basically, just copy paste all that, and paste it. And now we want active. Where's active? Right here. Okay, grab that, and wherever you have an app item, add dot active after that, right before the A selector. So like that, and that's done. And I'll just target the active class, and it's basically the same, but it has a shadow on it. So let's add that shadow, and it is text shadow and zero 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 to make that black one pixel off, one pixel off again. So it's up and um to the side and make this a spread of five pixels save that and on hover yep that should be good refresh oh didn't work what did I do wrong um um oh sorry let's move this down to here see if that works move it down to the A Nope. Alright. So I'm just going to undo that. Save. And instead of adding the nav item, I thought it would actually make that work, but nope. So just get rid of the nav item and just have active. Okay. Save that. Save that. Refresh. And now we have our uh, shadow on that. Okay. So also we need to fix the font. So it's a uh, uppercase and uh, bold it. I'm pretty sure this is bold. Well, let's check. No, it's regular. So it's just 18 point font. So let's get all that out of the way. And font size 18 pixels. Mirror pixels, not um, points. And we also need to add from text transform uppercase. And I'll make it uppercase just like we have it in here. So now that's done. Oh, that didn't work. Text transform. Well, okay, there we go. Save that. All right. So now we just need to add the padding to each item. Padding here is 40 px, but we can measure that out just to make sure. Well, file new. Yep, 40 pixels. So each nav item we want to add padding of zero so there's no vertical padding and 40 pixel left and right. Alright, so now they're evenly spaced and they look just like they're on here. Okay. Now that that's done, we got to work on the body with the rounded corners and the tag and everything. Okay, so we got to make a new class on our index. And let's name it div class equals um let's say body wrapper. Okay, slash div. Copy that and dot body wrapper. First off, we go on to uh, find the color of that, the background color, B7. So now I go here background that and with a thousand pixels same as everything else and we probably want to add an inner so the padding doesn't add on to the to that the whole div if we add uh, padding onto something with width it'll just add on that wasn't explained very well but I'll just show you right now body wrapper inner and slash div save that and we just add ASDF in there for test text so we just add body wrapper inner in here save that save that refresh okay so we also need to center this so margin 0 auto to center this makes the margins um, automatic 